Hey guys, uh, I've been out of commission for a while because I got a new job and it's been sucking up a ton of my time. So I really haven't been able to make any videos. As you can see, I have been demoted to my garage. There's a lot of bikes and some outdoor gear and miscellaneous other stuff that needs to be cleaned really badly. Um, but I had an idea for a video that I thought I could film this really, really quick in just one night and just do, you know, one take and it'll be sloppy with no editing or any BS. So, um, what I came up with was at my new job, I had to get some new steel toed shoes cause I work in the factory. So, um, my old ones that I had for my previous job were, they had many miles on them. We'll say that. And, uh, they, <clears throat> they stunk up my office. So I got new shoes. These ones have been living outside since then. They're pretty well beat up, um, but they're steel toes. They're actually composite. So what I wanted to do was try to shoot these and see what happens. So um, what I have available tonight is my 22 Marauder pistol. And I'm going to try and shoot that with a couple of different types of ammunition. I have uh, JSB Jumbo Diablo uh, with it like 15.89 grain pellets domed and I have some Gamo Match Diablo pellets these guys are 15.43 grains but it looks like they're a wad cutter not a not a domed head and then I have something that's a little bit of an oddball oh I also have some uh Remington domed pellets are already loaded in here so I can't really show you to you and I don't know how heavy they are because I bought them off of Amazon because they were dirt cheap a while ago but this is the one that's kind of neat I have some Nielsen specialty ammo uh, boat tail I think it was uh, two was it 23 grain 22 cal slugs I don't know if I can Get those to focus but you can see them they're not pellets these are slugs so I thought I'd try all of those and then I also have a 177 uh, pump air rifle that I would try a couple rounds with so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the camera down near my target it's gonna be a very rudimentary target um, basically a board and I'm gonna set the shoes on it and I'm going to shoot them you can tell I can see my breath you can tell it's cold. Um, but anyway, I'm going to set that up and take a couple shots. And we will dissect the shoes and see if anything goes through and what the state of the pellets is. And uh, we'll, I guess we'll revisit this whenever I'm done. All right. I think that was actually two. Okay, I shot through the other shoe with the, all the 20 tons that I had available. I'm going to switch over to the other shoe, and uh, I'm going to use a 177 pump air rifle. It is an Umarex. I, forget, I always get this mixed up. It has a long alphabet soup name. It's like APX NXG or something like that. I think it stands for Next Gen, or AGP NXG, or I don't know. Okay, so of course, as soon as I hit save or hit record, the battery went dead in my phone. So I went ahead and I did my shots. Um, you can see a number of them. 
I think these two actually miss the steel toe because the composite starts right. You can actually see it there. So one of these missed, but that one hit. You got one that hit up there as well. I think that's it. And then the other shoe, I shot it quite a few times. This one, I went up at close range and shot with the uh, 22 cal slug. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these apart and see if we can get something interesting. Let's see what we get. So uh, you can actually see where the pellets hit, but it didn't even put a dent in it. Wow. Good stuff. Not even a scratch. And that was, those were the 22s, I think. Yeah. So I think the, they did go through the bottom. So you can see they didn't, they didn't pierce the bottom of the shoe. But I think they're embedded in the sole somewhere. Oh, there they are. There's at least part of them. All right, so there's, if I can hold this up or not. Here's the Nielsen Specialty Ammo Slug. It's uh, a lot shorter than it used to be, but you can still see the, the tip of it. As neat as you can see the rifling on it. If I can get this to focus. Maybe I'll try this with the other camera afterwards. And then uh, this one fared significantly worse. So I mean, it completely flattened that. I don't know if I can find it. I'm guessing this is like a fiberglass. You can see it's it's really brittle. It's hard stuff, whatever it is. Anyway, so now I know my steel-toed shoes, stout stuff. Um, they're not steel, obviously. It's a composite, but they'll stop a pellet, a 22 pellet, moving at I don't know what 750 feet per second. That's a Marauder pistol, so. I'm guessing it's about 700. Anyway, neat experiment. Thanks for joining me, and uh, I'll see you another time. Hey, guys. So uh, in the last part of this video, I thought I was going to be making a really quick and dirty video that didn't have any edits or anything fancy involved. But I got some weird results, and so I, I kind of I got to dig a little deeper because I'm an inquisitive kind of guy like that. So if you remember, I shot a pair of uh, composite toe work shoes and these are the composite toes that I cut out of the shoes and if you look at this really closely you can see a little circle there from where one of the pellets that I shot I think that one was a uh, I think that was a 177 and then this one had a couple of more that I think were 22 rounds um, I shot the things and they didn't even make a dent in these composite toes, not even a scratch. I mean, you can see where the circle is. There's nothing else to indicate that that was hit, just some dirt that has been cleaned off of the plastic. So I wanted to step it up a little notch and continue this experiment. Um, so what I've got going tonight 
is I'm, I'm upping the ante a little bit, going with a 25 cal uh, Benjamin Marauder air rifle. It's aired up, ready to go. Um, some standard run-of-the-mill Benjamin 25 cal pellets that I bought at I don't even, it doesn't even say on the tin how much they weigh, so I have no clue. If I had to guess, I'd say somewhere in the vicinity of 23 grain. I don't know. Maybe more than that. It's got to be more than that. 30, let's say 30 grain. That seems like a nice round number. And if that doesn't work, we'll step it up even a little bit more. And I have some 25 cal uh, slugs from Nielsen Specialty Ammo. And we will try those and see what happens. So I don't know what's going to happen, but I want to make sure that I really I push this to its logical conclusion. Um, if the 25 cal Marauder doesn't go through it, then I guess the next step up is a well I have a 357 Bulldog, um, and then after that maybe I could go to a 22 Rimfire, and then after that the next step up for me is. I mean, a 30 6 is what I got next. It's either that or a shotgun. So um, we'll see what we can do. Um, I'm pretty confident the 25 will at least make a dent in it. So I'm going to try to rig something up, get the camera down there so I can record it. And uh, then I'll get in and start editing film and put this video together. See you in the, on the flip side. Alright. Let's see what we can do here. This gun is sighted in for about 50 yards, and I'm shooting from seven or two yards. So I'm going to aim way high. Hit it. Finally, I made a dent. You can actually see a bit of lead is stuck to the uh, composite toe from the, sh the work shoes. However, it did not go through. Did not really do a whole heck of a lot. And uh, you can still see it didn't go through. But the 25 did make a dent finally. So finally we had a little bit of traction, got something done. So. Now we know at least approximately what the threshold is. So I'm going to step it up, put in one of the Nielsen rounds, and uh, let's see what that does. So just these are 34 grain, if I remember correctly. They're kind of a hollow tip round. So I'm curious to see what this does. So I'm going to put on the other one that has nothing on it except for those scuffs from the earlier tests. And uh, we'll shoot it again, see what we get. All right. Okay, Nielsen Specialty 22 or uh, 25 caliber round. I'm going to try to aim high again and hope that I hit the target. Would you believe that actually came right back and hit me in the face? Good thing I was wearing safety glasses. Okay, I'm not sure. Here's the, the steel toe, and it I'm pretty sure it hit right about there. Pretty much square in the center of the toe. Um, what was interesting, the Nielsen round didn't do as much damage as the uh, Benjamin pellet, but that thing came back and hit me right here so uh, note to self make sure you always wear your safety glasses it's very important um, I'm gonna see if I can find that pellet and see what it looks like I'm pretty sure it's probably like a flat pancake but uh, I don't it doesn't look like it did anything I can't really tell in this light but uh, yeah, I'm not the prettiest mug to be looking at but anyway um, 
Yeah, it hit me right on my cheek and I felt it right away. I was kind of a little bit concerned, but um, didn't do much to the, this toe. Not as much as the uh, pellet did. So I'm guessing it was going a little bit slower because it's more mass and maybe that's the big difference here. But uh, more interesting results. So I got one more shoe or one more toe here <laughs> that really isn't very damaged that uh, I guess I'll have to step up to the bulldog. To test that one, I'm going to have to go out to the range because that one's got some bark. I can't do that in the garage. My neighbors might be a little bit curious about that. So uh, stay tuned.